and welcome back to another video. This is my Darren Wheel Toy Collection video for August 2020. And this is a really exciting one because it's been my 100 subscriber goal for like ever. So yeah, we hit 100. So filmed it. And yeah, I'm just really thankful for 100 guys. Thank you so much. Um, please subscribe because in the future, I will be doing a Gemini Jets collection video. Um, and yeah, it's obviously a smaller collection, but it's still a collection. And uh, if you're wondering here, there are, I think, 119 total real toy airplanes, but that is counting all the broken ones in the back there. Without broken ones, it's like, I think, like almost 100. About 100, I think. I don't know for sure. Um, but yeah, with broken ones, it's 119. And some of those will definitely get fixed in the future, so. Yeah. But that's going to be a painful section to go through. Anyways, um, yeah, as I go through the video, comment down below your favorites and which ones you have in your collection. And yeah, just enjoy. So we're going to start over here up at the American Carriers, starting with a JetBlue A320 in the old livery. This is the mosaic livery, I think. And then we have three JetBlue A321s in the blueberry livery. Moving down, we have Spirit Airlines in... I believe these are A320s, so three A320s. And then moving down to Southwest, um, port, uh, most of my Southwest collection is in the broken pile, but uh, we have three newer Boeing 737 Southwest from the newer livery, and then one old one that's still completely intact and not broken in the Canyon Blue livery, 737. And then moving down to Frontier Airlines, we have the new Frontier A321, I think there's like a Jaguar on the tail. That's pretty cool. And then we have two Frontier A320s or A319s in like the Otter livery. So that's pretty old livery. Then moving up, we're gonna go this way now. Uh, starting with a Sun Country. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty rare model actually, 737. And then moving down, we have two Alaska 737s in the newer livery and one Alaska 737 in the old livery without winglets. Although I don't know if they make one with winglets. And then moving down even further, we have an Allegiant. I think these are A319s. Two Allegiant A319s in the old livery and one in the new livery. The only difference is kind of like the colors near the back. Um, and then further down, we have US Airways A320. I'm this was my latest plane I got. It was just given to me by a friend. Again, thank you so much. And then over here we have two US Airways Boeing, two US Airways Boeing 757s. Um, and then this way we have an American Airlines Boeing 777 in the old livery, American Airlines Boeing 777 in the new livery, and an American Airlines A350. This fleet will definitely be getting upgraded more soon. And then on to the next row, starting off we have an ATA 757 Air Trans America. And then going into the long Delta fleet, we have a Delta 757. And two kind of old, and yeah, you can tell they're a little. <laughs> um, two Boeing 767s that are old, and then a new Boeing 767, another Boeing 767, and another. And then over here, um, this, this one's cool. This is a Delta Boeing 767 in the old livery and then over here we have a delta boeing 777 and then we have a delta a350 which i will be getting another of soon and over here we have a northwest airlines boeing 747 here are some of my house liveries um starting off we have house livery boeing 787 there is a new livery one which i will be getting but i don't have yet and then I have the same one as that, except I decided to peel the stickers off and keep it like plain white. And then on to the next row, we have an Airbus A380 in the house livery. And then for the United States presidential aircraft or whatever, we have, I think, is that Air Force One? And that's Air Force Two? I don't know. Comment down below. I, I think so. The 747 and the 757. And then next to that, 
This guy is kind of rare. We have Continental Boeing 757. And into the United Fleet, we have a United Boeing 777. Another United Boeing 777. United Boeing 787 in the new livery. Another United Boeing 787 in the new livery. United Boeing 747 in the Tulip livery. Pretty banged up, but it's still completely intact. Um, and then we have a United Boeing 747 in like not not the newest livery, but like still current. Another 747 and another 747. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the American carriers. Um, yeah, I got a lot of those for sure. Okay, now starting off down here, we have a Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737, which I, I love this airplane, by the way, it's beautiful. And then we have a WestJet Boeing 737 in the old livery and a WestJet Boeing 737 in the new livery. Pretty much the primary difference being that logo change. And then next to that, we have WestJet Boeing 787. This is also a really nice model. And then we have an Air Canada Boeing 777. And another Air Canada Boeing 777. This is actually the newer livery. This is like the mint livery. And then further down, this isn't actually real toy. It's like that other company that I have quite a few of, an Air Canada Boeing 747. This was my first international airplane. Um, and then we have, here, let me just get closer. A British Airways Boeing 787, British Airways Boeing 747, and a British Airways A380. I just love the British Airways fleet. And then some rare guys here. We have Virgin Atlantic 747 in the old livery and Virgin Atlantic 747 in the newer livery. Although, obviously, they're both retired in real life, sadly. Okay, now we're going to actually head back down here. Okay, starting off over here, one of my rarest airplanes for, for, for sure. Uh, Thompson Boeing 767. I love this model, but I am still trying to find the 787, sadly. Kind of missed out on that one. And then we have three Aer Lingus A320s. Two of them I got from Dublin when I just ordered it online. And then over here, oh, I'm also trying to find the A330. Like, that would help so much. We have one of the newest releases, Lufthansa A350. This one's beautiful. Uh, I definitely recommend it to anyone who's, like, thinking about getting it. Uh, really nice. And then... A pretty rare one, an Air France A380 in the newer livery. Got this at Paris. And then a KLM 787, which is one of my favorites for sure. And then further down, we have Scandinavian A340 and another Scandinavian A340. Those are both quite rare as well. I'm just going to move down a bit here. And then we have the this is an Alitalia A330. And this isn't a uh, real toy either. They have like more realistic landing gear, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a Boeing 777 Alitalia. And then an Iberia A350 and an LOT Polish Airlines 787. Okay, now moving back down again. Uh, starting over here, here's a Copa Airlines Boeing 737. This is probably my rarest, a lab. Boeing 767. I really don't know much about this airline. All I know is that's rare. I have no idea where I got this airplane. And then next to that, another really rare one of mine is a Varig Boeing 777. Um, and then we have the Hawaiian A330 in the old livery, Hawaiian A330 in the newer livery, and Aeromexico Boeing 787. Another Aeromexico Boeing 787. And then we have Qantas Boeing 787. This is a really nice plane. Qantas A380 in the old livery. I actually have three of these. It's just two of the three are broken. And then Qantas A380 in the newer livery. This is also really nice. And then an AM International Boeing 777. That's a fictional airline, I believe. And it's also not a Darren real toy. Okay. Getting back over here, um, starting off with like the final few, we have an Emirates A380, one of the best planes, obviously. 
It's also pretty common, but it's still one of the best. Another Emirates A380. And then we have a Turkish Airlines Boeing 777. And a Singapore Airlines A380. This is one of my rarest. And I really love it. It's one of my favorites for sure. Probably my favorite A380. Um, and then we have the Austin Powers Boeing 747 Shagadelic. This isn't actually a real toy, but it's beautiful, so I had to get it. And then going into the cargo airplanes, this isn't a real toy either. It's like an express plane. And we have the FedEx Boeing 777. I'm going to get another one of these because this is a great release. A UPS Boeing 747. Another UPS Boeing 747. And another. Um, believe it or not, I actually don't have the newer one yet where they got rid of the words down there, but I will be getting it. So, uh, yeah. UPS is one of the most common models out there. Okay, now moving into the broken section. The only thing wrong with this Airbus A380 in the house livery is that just it's missing one, like, wing tip over there, like it has on the other side. So, I don't know if you count that broken. I kind of do. But then starting off, this is where it gets painful, guys. British Airways Boeing 747, missing landing gear, pretty banged up. KLM Boeing 747. I just, I wish I still had this in my collection. Like, this is such a good model. I'm so mad I broke this. Like, I just wish I wasn't so stupid when I was a little kid. I used to, like, I'm not even going to talk about the things I used to do with these models because it'll make you cringe. But yeah, I'm really sad about that one. And then a broken Varig Bone 777. I need to get that fixed because that's really rare. And then here are the two Qantas A380s I was talking about in the old livery. Different parts of them are both broken. And then a United Boeing 777 in the Tulip livery, broken. Gotta fix that one. This is probably the one I want to fix most, besides the KLM. A JetBlue A320 in either Bubbles or Dots livery. I don't even know the difference. But yeah, if I could get this back into the collection, it would be so nice. So if anyone has, like, spare parts for real toys... Contact me on Instagram at Aviation Ignited. Anyways, over here, another uh, Air Force 2, I think, with missing landing gear. And then we have a WestJet, just so banged up. I don't even want to talk about it. Two American Airlines Boeing 777s, both missing front landing gear, and that one's pretty damaged. A UPS Boeing 747 with literally like a ripped off wing. Uh, two Aer Lingus Boeing 737s, like... And this one really sucks because it's like I have two of them and I really like couldn't keep one of them in good condition like yeah and then this one also pretty sucks sucks a lot I mean um it's the Frontier but it's in the Raccoon livery so that's a really nice one um wish that one wasn't broken and then Southwest Fleet five Canyon Blues all missing parts so yeah um that's that's it guys uh here, going over here quickly, I'll just I decide to set these up. These are some like my Matchbox or other brands. Um, just want to show you some of them. Got some pretty rare ones, I think. Scandinavian tie. Uh, Continental. You know, American Airlines. Northwest. Um. So yeah. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. I, I really enjoyed filming this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you're new. Uh, in the future, I think I'll be focusing more on my Gemini Jets Airport, Key West. And I'll announce a new airport for a real toy soon. I've been thinking hard about it. I kinda wanna go fictional, but I'm getting a lot of requests for other airports. So yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like, and I'll see you soon. Bye.